Hello everybody, GL1 here. Welcome to my online toy museum and today we're going to examine my collection of League of Legends action figures and uh, I had wanted to do this show a while ago uh, but I couldn't find this figure. Uh, I bought this figure oh probably 10 years ago uh, and then uh, I made some modifications to that figure which I will show you at the end um, but then I, uh, I don't know, like a year later, it went even lower on clearance because it was on clearance when I got it the first time. Uh, this was like under $5. Uh, so I was like, well, let me get another one. And then, you know, maybe it, it, it'll be a collectible or something sometime. But, um, I actually opened it, uh, the original and I, and I liked it a lot. I thought it had pretty good articulation. So I'm going to open this one again. So I wanted to find it before I put this show together and you know a lot of times I I really do try to be organized but you put something away so you can find it and then you forget where you put it then you know I'm sure we've all gone through that trying to eliminate that kind of thing from happening uh, and it's not as bad as it used to be <laughs> so all right project Fiora project Z uh, so that's uh, you know Z zero so I don't know who Fiora is this is a video game character um, so, you know, I don't really care, uh, but it's a cool action figure. She has a really neat sword as well. So, um, considering that this is from a while ago, uh, and really not a remarkable box, and, and I don't, you know, it wasn't, it must not have been very popular to buy these because they just went, you know, so low in price. Uh, but you can see it's... Uh, quite a, uh, you know, well-articulated figure. Um, I don't know what the figure looks like in the game, but I think it's uh, quite an athletic-looking female figure. And I got her sword there and turn that around. Well, yeah, I guess like, I don't know. Yeah, I guess maybe it uh, that way. Uh, yeah, it would be that way. I was just thinking this would be cool to have it, like, guard her hand, but... Yeah, then the blade is this way, right? So, all right, so you can see so that it's got the double knees. Uh, it doesn't have double elbows, but it still has, because she's kind of robotic, right? She has good articulation, and one of her arms is different than the other. See, this one has, like, missing part of the robot shielding, uh, or it's just made different. Yeah, you can see, like, the biceps are different as well. And, you know, she's, I don't know if she's a full android or what, you know, or, or completely just wearing a person wearing armor or if she's a robot. But anyway, she looks really cool. Look at those heels. All right. So that is this figure. And then here's a figure I also got. Again, there were so many of these on clearance. They were like $3. Thresh. Who was a jailer? You can see his jailer keys, and he would torture the people that he jailed, and they eventually escaped, rose up, killed him, and then uh, he became uh, some kind of uh, torture character that will go after you and like to torture you for fun and use his chains and everything to get at you and then uh, imprison your soul inside this lantern. How nice. So who needs that, you know? I mean, it's bad enough you die and you got to be putting some kind of lantern with probably a bunch of people you don't know or get along with. Um, because, it, well, yeah, I was going to say, uh, you know, if you're bad, uh, bad people never get along with other bad people either. So maybe there's a lot of bad people in there too. Um, all right, so here you can see really good articulation. Look at the feet there, moving all around, and the knees and the hips. And even though he's got, like, tons of clothes on, you can see all this, like, material to get in the way, they still didn't skimp on the articulation. Because sometimes they do that. When I show my Warcraft figures, um, you know, they're like, oh, well, if he's going to have all this plastic here or whatever, why make the legs move around? Which kind of is true. But this one isn't like that. I mean, he's got good, uh, you know, waist articulation and even... It's got the joint here and under the ribs, which is cool. And then the head can move all around. So, and he's got, you know, some kind of like glowing axe. And he's, uh, from what I read, he's some kind of demon. And there you go. 
And it's pretty neat. You got like the spine coming back there and a skull and a spidery bones. So he's obviously got some kind of magic going on because this probably wouldn't stay on very well if you didn't have magic. You'd be falling all over the place. All right, so then the next character I got was this one, which I showed on a recent show of figures with uh, female action figures with bows. So this is Ash, an ice-born war mother, and, uh, you know, she is, uh, they hope her people, she, she leads a big horde of people, and they're hoping that she will retake the land. So, uh, but what's important is that this is a really good action figure, too. And uh, what I like is these figures uh, from, you know, this League of Legends, there's not a lot of action figures, but they are well made. Uh, they have really excellent articulation. Uh, look at her, you know, waist articulation. The faces are really well made, you know, very, you know, video gamey, but they're good. Look, she even has ears if you look up in there. You know, they didn't have to put ears, right? Um, you can see the ears on the outside. They actually went and cut a hole in the hair for the hair to fit around the ears. They didn't just put ears on the outside of the hair. Check that out, huh? And she's got braids, and she's Nordic, so her hair is, like, practically white. And, you know, so she's, uh, you know, got good articulation in the hips. And the double elbow here. And not the double elbow. Well, no, double elbow on both sides. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. All right, and as I'd shown before, she has a bow uh, in the other episode. And she can shoot arrows from the bow. And you can take those and then pull them back and shoot that forward. Uh, it's an ice bow, and it shoots ice arrows, and she has a quiver. So you can sling that quiver over her. And then she can store the arrows in there. There you go. All right. And if she wants, she can also... The problem is you can't do the quiver... Uh, and the cape so she has a nice you know like cape that she can put on and you know I wonder were you really warm with these capes or was it really just a matter of the look I mean it's it's super cold but look at how your shoulders are going to get cold and it's going to whip around and everything you gotta you know it's not even big enough to really close around you I really don't think the cape is a cool idea and it makes you look neat but probably uh, not going to be good in weather below 50, I would think. Uh, so anyway, that's Ash. And then um, I got this figure too, which is Senna. And I still have the box to Senna. And this is another figure that I ordered uh, from Macy's, actually, for like $10. And I did not like, I did not want her to have the cape on. So I had to put it in boiling water to soften it up so I could get it over her head. Because I wanted to see just what the action figure looked like. She kind of looks like a Black Panther character. You know, uh, great articulation, good face, really cool hair. I mean, and, and you know, again, it, it was under a cape, but the hair was still very detailed, even painted in the back, which you, you wouldn't even see. But, uh, you know, maybe they were thinking, hey, somebody like me uh, was going to do that. And this came out in 2022. So, you know, you have the double knees. And actually, let's see if it compares to the Ash figure. And they're about the same height. Yeah. So, yeah, but you can see the molds are, you know, they have to be different, obviously, the boots and everything but generally the same figure. Um, all right, so this is a, uh, you know, nice action figure to have, really detailed sculpt. And her weapon is this gigantic sword, ridiculous sword. I don't know how it's used in the game, um, but apparently she's super strong because she can wield this thing. I mean, it's so big that uh, it actually has to have its own stand. So you can get her hand around that. And, you know, I guess you can, you know, pretend she's uh, uh, 
wielding that sword. Oh, well, maybe it is a little bit too big for her. Anyhow, that's the weapon she came with. I guess that's what she swings around in the game. So any of you that play it will know more about that than me. Um, that'll go into a box somewhere, and I'll just put the figure up, up on a, you know, up on a shelf. All right, and another figure I got from League of Legends is Jinx, and uh, this is a four-inch figure. And so it's got uh, tattooing on the arms. Pretty well detailed, you know, Star Wars size, right? So you could have her put her play with your Star Wars toys with it. And it's got squishy boots. And she doesn't buckle her boots, so she better be careful if she's going to run. Because those will come right off and trip her. Um, she comes with a couple of weapons. Uh, this is a minigun. And she comes with a rocket launcher that's purple that looks like a dolphin. And... Uh, I just, I put it somewhere. This is one of those things where I put it somewhere and I don't remember where I put it, but there it is. All right, a dolphin rocket launcher. I'm sure it'll turn up. I know, you know, I just, I think I put it in a Ziploc bag with a bunch of other accessories for four inch figures uh, from other video games. But uh, what's neat about this too is that it actually can rotate. You see that there? So that makes it easier to move around and have her uh, hold on to the minigun. If you'll remember in Predator, uh, that is what Jesse Ventura was shooting. You know, it it basically it shoots uh, I think 50 caliber rounds and uh, or 60 caliber, and then this rotates, bop, 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 you know, and has like a chain and everything. So anyway, but it's cool. She's got a lot of hair, uh, really long hair. So um, and that's you know, it's brightly colored. There you go. All right articulates all right well so there are some other uh league of legends figures that i really wasn't interested in so i never got them but here's what i want to show you so one of my favorite movies is alita battle angel all right and at the time uh, this movie came out you either couldn't get an action figure for it or it was really expensive like uh like 200 or 400 dollars something ridiculous uh, then they came out with one that is now you can get it on Amazon for 50 But I figured I'd make my own. So here is my Alita Battle Angel figure. Now, the thing about mine is um, her eyes aren't extra big, okay, like she is in the movie. Because uh, she's uh, basically an android, all right? So I'm going to show you. You can see that what I did is the body belongs to the Fiora figure, right? And then I painted purple on it. So if we look at this, okay, so this is the Amazon one, and you get there for 50 bucks, all right? And compare it to what I have here, all right? So what I did is I took this Star Wars figure from Solo, her name escapes me. But, so I took her, and I painted her head. I took the head off, and I painted the hair black, and I painted the eyebrows darker, and then I put the head on a modified version of this figure, painting the sword as well. So if you see in the movie, it's a similar-looking sword. And, you know, she's chrome and purpley. There she is here. So I debated about whether to put the uh, markings under her eyes, but she doesn't always have them. As you can see on the Amazon figure, she doesn't have that. So I was like, yeah, you know, I'm not going to put that on there. So I think this looks a lot like the Alita figure, and it costs me, like, almost nothing. To do like under 20 bucks uh, between the clearance price and this was on clearance she was on clearance too okay so her name was Kira with a Q all right so that's the Kira figure all right so there that way you can you reuse retool your League of Legends figure and do you want to see what I made the leftover pieces into of course you do I'll go get it all right so take a look at this so this is my bounty hunter figure I made. 
All right, so you can see I took the head and I repainted it and put some silver in the hair and I cut the vest off here, cut the skirt off, kept the same weapon and then gave her this like little, you know, uh, police baton looking stick. And then this cape went to, oh, I don't remember now. It also went to a Star Wars figure, right? And so, but I thought to put that on. And so, as you can see, it's really cool. I painted the hands white to match the face. See, so the face is kind of white, painted the lips green. So look at what I got out of all that, huh? Pretty neat, right? So really... Uh, taking that League of Legends to a whole nother level, right? The figure. So, all right, well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that, and I hope it inspires you uh, to also, you know, take ownership maybe of your figures, and uh, if you're uh, afraid of ruining one, you know, then buy another and ruin one of them, you know. Um, you know, I know they're collectibles, but look, in the end, they're toys, and we're not going to live forever, and... You know, we should enjoy, I think, just enjoy them for what they are, toys, and have fun. So I will talk to you soon. Take care.